Hello again. I'm reminding everyone that I often ask you, if you can, to give me some TLC. T stands for touching the subscribe button. L, like the video. And C, comment. Thank you. We're continuing now discussing the issue of judiciary. And we're going to delve a bit into the Supreme Court and some other aspects of law and how it comes, came into fruition, came to be within some interesting cases. First, the Supreme Court is the highest court of the land. Okay? Um, it usually consists of between 9 to 15 people. It's important that courts are kept in an uneven number, at least on a regular basis. Why? In order that we have a judgment. Because most cases, when we have judges, we have we use a simple majority for the ruling. And if instead of nine we'd have eight, we can have four against four and we have a tie. If we had 14 instead of 15, again we could have seven against seven. Okay? So for instance, the Supreme Court of the United States of America has nine people. I have a photo that is not up to date. It's almost up to date. Two people here are different. I still have here Anthony Scalia who passed away. He was meant to be or thought to have been chained by Mary Garland, but the Republicans refused to um, have the hearing of the Democrats and eventually he was swapped by Neil Gorsuch. And that is Anthony Scalia who passed away. And we have the case of Anthony Kennedy who retired in 2018 and he was swapped by Brett Kavanaugh and the shooting of Brett Kavanaugh was broadcasted worldwide. Um, it's important to know that the idea that Anthony Kennedy retired is an option in the United States of America. In most countries, Supreme Court need to retire at the age of 70, sometimes 67, depending on age of retirement. In the United States of America, the Supreme Court is for life. I mean, one does not have to retire. And we, for instance, have this little woman here, called Ruth Bader Ginsburg, or RBG, and she's well into her late 80s and still going. Um, by the way, the kind of clothes, the black and white is common among both attorneys and judges in most countries. Our countries, especially in specific occasions, where the Supreme Court will have different kind of um, garb, and just for the example, I'll give it here, look at the red garb here in Germany, and red also in Singapore. We have a green garb here in Kenya and black and yellow in the UK. So in different cases, we can have different clothes. And some people interest about how would it look in the Supreme Court of Canada, where they're dressed somewhat like Father Christmas, like Santa Claus. Yeah, perhaps reminiscent of the their flag um, with the maple leaf. Um, if we will already look at your courts, there is the International Court of Justice. It looks like this from the inside and like that from the outside. This is not a criminal law, but there is a criminal law um, adjacent, uh, nearby. They're both in The Hague within the Netherlands. Now that we discuss the Supreme Court, I'd like to talk about a few concepts and we'll do that through stories. And first of all, I use a very famous story, which has several series done up on it. It's actually a case where, save the judge, who only retired some four years ago, perhaps, or five years ago, um, and I don't think he wrote a book, every other major person involved in this case wrote a book, most of them bestsellers. If you haven't guessed yet what I want to talk about, I'm talking about the story of O.J. Simpson. Okay? Also now, James Simpson, who was an American football runner back. I think few would argue that he was at least within the top 20 runner best runner backs in history. Uh, he retired. After his retirement, he went into uh, some films. He played for the Naked Gun, one and two, and Nornberg. Guy gets keep getting knocked up. He um, married a woman called Nicole Brown. This was not his first marriage. She was significantly younger than him. A waitress at the time that they met, and they married. 
Um, the marriage was quite rocky. From what came out in the trial, it seems like uh, there was quite a bit of domestic violence, and they uh, divorced. She ended up with uh, befriending a guy called Rome Goldman, and the two of them were brutally murdered with a knife and stabbed many times. Very soon after finding their bodies, um, O.J. Simpson was questioned and then taken into custody. There was an agreement with the, his lawyer that he, he will give himself up, but he ended up running away, and the chase after him by the police was all broadcasted at the time. Anyway, eventually he did give himself in, and then it was a trial. 